Welcome to the video guys. You might have remembered over the last couple of weeks that every single media outlet has essentially ran around praising Nicola Sturgeon and to a lesser degree the other devolved governments for their handling of the coronavirus, claiming they were all doing so well, when in actual fact it turns out that was a load of horseshit. You might remember the consistent reports suggesting that the SNP was doing great and Boris Johnson was doing terribly with massive amounts of deaths in UK care homes. That was pumped out by the mainstream media every 15 minutes or so, which has been their mantra for this entire situation. Use every little thing you can to attack the government. Now, obviously, there are valid reasons to give the government stick. I've pointed out many of them. But the care home situation, I don't think, is one of them, especially when you consider that England's care home deaths are actually the lowest in all of Europe. But The Express is running an article here because Ruth Davidson has erupted at Nicola Sturgeon's management as she uncovers horror death tally. Ruth Davidson hit out at First Minister Nicola Sturgeon over her government's conduct throughout the coronavirus pandemic as she lamented the high mortality rate in care homes across Scotland. Ruth Davidson raged against the Scottish government over their failure to protect care home residents and staff during the coronavirus pandemic. The former Scottish Tory leader hit out at Nicola Sturgeon for the decision to allow hospital patients back into care homes without testing for the coronavirus. You might remember Nicola Sturgeon and of course every single media outlet was ragging on Boris for doing the exact same thing when it turns out it was actually doctors that sent these people back into care homes without having the test. Since Boris Johnson or the health secretary Matt Hancock do not discharge people from hospital, only a doctor or clinician can do that. Speaking to Good Morning Britain, Miss Davidson said, I think whatever inquiries we have out of the back of this, there's going to be so many lessons that we have to learn. Oh, I can't wait to see some of these inquiries that come out on the back of this and see what juicy bits they come up with. For example, you talk about the situation in England where some people were put into care homes without having tested negative first as they were discharged from hospital. We had the same thing in Scotland, but we've had it to a greater degree. So all this time the media have ragged on Boris Johnson for it. They have deliberately ignored the fact that Nicola Sturgeon and the SNP have been doing it apparently to an even greater degree. We had the Scottish government actively using beds in advance in care homes, spending money telling care home operators we want to empty hospitals and we're going to do it without testing or having a negative test back of the people we're putting in there. Which, if true, is pretty amazing, I think you will agree. Yet, you won't really hear the BBC or any of the other mainstream media outlets really reporting on this. Until now, they have essentially protected the SNP and spent all of their time just attacking Boris. According to the latest reports from the European Centre for Disease Prevention and Control, Scotland has the highest care home death rate of all UK nations at 45%, Wales followed at 25%, England at 21%, the lowest in all of Europe, as I said earlier. And as I also said earlier, that means this is not something you should be attacking the Tory government for. As I said, there is plenty of things we can hold them to task for, not just in relation to this shit show. Miss Davidson continued, in terms of the agency of government actually physically making the decisions of putting people who may or may not be infected into enclosed environment of incredibly vulnerable people. Our care home death in Scotland is double that of England. I think there needs to be inquiries in every part of the UK because health is devolved. Yes, I would agree. It appears to me that devolved health has actually caused more problems than it's helped. These puppet administrations have clearly fucked it up. Nicola Sturgeon and the SNP have faced much criticism over the policies adopted on care home residents and staff during the pandemic. We have also criticised her for playing party politics in relation to the lockdowns, obviously trying her hardest to do everything a few days or a week after Boris Johnson. When she was challenged on the lack of testing in Scottish Parliament, Miss Sturgeon said, testing in care homes has been driven by clinical advice. In recent weeks, we have increased testing in care homes. 
in care homes where there is an outbreak, we now have testing of all residents and staff, whether they are symptomatic of the virus or not. Those efforts, both in testing and infection control, are driven by the directions of public health directors. Scotland's First Minister added, The situation in care homes, not just in Scotland, but UK-wide and globally, has been one of the most distressing factors of a very distressing situation. Well, apparently it's more distressing in Scotland than it is in England, because we have the lowest percentage of care deaths in Europe, while of course Scotland has one of the highest. The SNP leader insisted she is anxious to make the right decision for Scotland and its residents to clamp down on the coronavirus outbreak. I'd say it's a little bit too late for that. You've already pissed it up the wall, love. And I'm not going to bother reading what she said at the press conference. You get the point. It's about time the media started calling out Scotland for what it's done. The SNP and Nicola Sturgeon's leadership has not been the glowing ray of sunshine that the media would have made you believe. They have spent so much time attacking Boris Johnson that they failed to point out the piss-poor performances of these so-called devolved puppet governments that it would appear are far more incompetent when it comes to dealing with health. Now before I go, I've started doing live streams and uploading gaming content on my second channel. If you would like to come and join me for a live stream to chat in real time, have an interest in gaming related content on YouTube or just want to follow me over there because you are a legend, the link will be down in the video description below and as a pinned comment. I hope to see you all there. Now as always, before I go, I want to thank our PayPal, Patreon, Subscribestar and YouTube members for supporting the channel along with everyone who watches my videos. Remember to let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Leave a like, subscribe with the notification bell and share this video as it helps the channel a lot. And I'll see you all in the next one. There is a pattern consistent throughout history of oppressed people turning on the oppressors. Slaves against their owners, the peasantry against the feudal barons, colonies, Mr. Verhofstadt, against their empires. <laughs> and that is why Britain is leaving. And it doesn't matter which language you use, we are going and we are glad to be going. We're off.